We've been talking a lot about generators and yesterday um, somebody sent me this very interesting article from Australia. Um, it's many years old, but it's quite interesting. And I thought I'd share it with you guys. Is your diesel wasting money? So basically it was an initiative produced uh, many, many years ago by a very famous company. And basically they were actually promoting the use of a hybrid inverter with a generator. Um, and in fact, it's great. This is a, actually a brochure. And in fact, it explains a lot of things. Let me show a little bit closer. And you can see here where they're using a generator, using a generator, I'm backwards, using a generator, uh, the house, uh, the battery storage, and the solar panel. It's what we're doing. Um, a little bit, technology's changed a little bit. And you can see from their photograph, uh, I'm, show, I'm not very good at showing these things, but you can see from their photograph, it uses a bank of AGM batteries and it says it works. Um, the BP Solar Hybrid Power System, HPS, is a fully automatic. It switches the diesel generator on and off at times you nominate. It monitors and maintains the correct battery state of charge, the SOC, and automatically equalizes your batteries every two weeks. Well, we don't need to do equalization because most of it is lithium, unless you're using AGM. And of course, our inverter can equalize it if you want to, and it, it's got that setting. The diesel runs uh, typically six hours per day or less if solar modules are added. Um, this compared with a diesel engine only, thus the HPS can decrease the overall power cost by up to 40%. Now, this is actually written by um, British Petroleum. I'm sure they've done a lot of the research and they're claiming a 40%. Um, on the tests that we've done, we've seen anything up to 60, 70%, even in some cases, 90%, depending on the usage. So, but typically when they're looking at a matched system, and I guess this is referring to a matched system where they're, they're looking at typically a 40% or greater. As, as fuel prices rise, the cost of each solar module reduces. You can make your BP system even more economical by adding more solar modules and directly shorten the diesel running time required each day for charging the batteries. You know what? I'm going around telling we've got a system that can control the generator and, and give it credit. You know, BP's had it a long time ago, and I think this is a great article. Um, but it shows what we're actually trying to achieve um, has been offered before. Um, technology's advanced, not so complicated now. We haven't got huge banks of batteries, we've got a couple of lithium batteries. The control equipment is much smaller, much more advanced, much more efficient. Um, and if you're using the SunSig, it's fully got fully programmable controller. You can choose when you want to charge the batteries. You can choose the state of charge of the batteries. You can have different charging profiles for different times a day. It does everything. It really is works perfect with a generator. Um, and I think we're going to try and do more. I, I, I done a video fairly recently about using it with a generator. I think I wanted to offer a bit more about it. So I, I, if you if anybody's got any feedback at this point, I'm going to ask because you know, I'm a little bit limited because in Hong Kong, I'm going back to the UK. And of course, between Hong Kong and the UK, Hong Kong has got a few sort of jungle areas, which is jungle, it's full of nasty things that bite you, but um, not quite to the same scale as Australia or uh, Africa, <laughs> nothing like it. And in the UK, I think we, we talk about remote places and maybe half an hour off the highway and that's, too, that's very, very remote. Um, so I would like to get, if anyone has any feedback in Southern Africa or Australia, where they're using the system with generators, um, please write to me and let me know experiences uh, and questions, because I think this is a great opportunity. Because, you know, I keep saying we can save fuel, we can save a lot of fuel. And I've just been watching a lot of things to do with the, the COP26 is coming in the UK very soon with the climate change. And every, uh, it used to be an advert on TV in the UK, Tesco's every little helps and everything little helps will help the planet. And by using our system um, can, can really save a lot of money, not just save money, but reduce carbon emissions, reduce everything. And it's a very, very simple system. It's just a box, you plug it into your generator and, you gener and most generators got an ATS. And if you look at my previous video, when I was looking at some of the JCB, um, I hate mentioning names, but yeah, some of the big generators and they've got really good ATS, the automatic um, transfer switches. Um, and our, our inverter will totally connect to it. So I would like to know any questions, anything that we should be doing, should we be looking at interface boxes or anything like that, please come back to us and feed, feedback as much in, information as possible. I'll tell you what, I'll put a link on this video also to see uh, if, if it'll help. So please keep watching.
shoes, smart and cheap. No.